Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome to another Dead in Hip Hop Live here on Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm your host, Rod, a.k.a. Modest Media, here with my brethren, you know, minus BZ430. But in the place of BZ430, got the homie Ashton here, man. Y'all might have seen, seen him a couple times, you know what I'm saying? I think y'all like him a little bit. You know, y'all haven't said anything negative about him yet. So, yeah, he, he brings a good <laughs> <Yeah>. perspective <laughs> to the conversation. But welcome to, to another show, man. Happy to have you here, bro. Yeah, thank y'all for having me. Thank y'all for having me. To his left, we got FIFO in the building. Yes, sir. What's up, man? What it do, man? What's up? They didn't think you was going to be here, man. Hey, man, they sometimes I don't know if I am going to be here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be a surprise to me when I pull up. Right, right. And to my right, Super Chat Destroyer, Kenneth uh, B. Inch. What up, y'all? <laughs> and to his right, Mike C. Tell. You know, what's up? Yeah, man, um, we're going to talk about some things tonight, man. We're going to talk about the first song that we would suggest uh, of, from our favorite artists, you know what I'm saying? A song that, you know, we like, yo, this is my favorite artist. This is where I think a good entry point should be for you. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. But before we get into that, as usual, man, Super Chats are highly encouraged on this show. So you need to start sending those in now if you want your voice to be heard on this show, whether that's a question, statement, Super Chat, any of that, man. Thanks. All of that is welcome on the show. We usually give you about 20 minutes for that since we were about five minutes late. You'll have about to 9.25 to get those in, Eastern Standard Time, so send those in now. At the 9.25, that will be cut off, uh, but you still can send in thanks and things like that. But yeah, if you want your voice to be heard, yeah, send those in now. Uh, so definitely appreciate it. Also, before we get into the show, just wanna let you know that we just posted a video um, on Frames Per Second Podcast. That's our movie, TV, film review podcast that we do. Myself, Mike Seatown, Kenneth B. Inch, uh, and Nay, naturally Nay. Uh, we just posted a black trivia conversation on there, man. It's pretty entertaining. Uh, black cinema tri trivia on there. So yeah, make sure you head over there. That's uh, youtube.com forward slash FPS podcast. So yeah, make sure you check that out. And also the... Uh, is the mic still on? That just dropped today. That drops every Wednesday. Um, what time do I usually drop, Ken? Uh, aiming for 12 p.m. 12 p.m.? Yeah. Yeah, 12 p.m. is the standard time, so make sure you tap in there, man. Uh, is the mic still on? Uh, we got a pretty pretty good podcast over there. We'll be talking about the recent Trump stuff, the Trump sneakers. You heard about the Trump sneakers? Yeah. That nigga, uh, what was it? He got... <laughs> He he lost a lawsuit for like three hundred some million, yeah. then sold the sneaker for four hundred and sold out. He sold over a million, so he made that money back. He's like, "Oh, you gonna sue me? Watch this." Your so. man's got a pair. Who? Fat Joe. Really? What? Yeah, yeah. You, you posted a picture on like on Instagram. Oh man, you sure wow. it was Fat Joe and it wasn't Jada? He he actually posted them. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, he posted a box. Wow. Hmm. But yeah, I, I, I saw the video. Jesus how, how, what do you think? You know, saying you you like stylistically what they look like? No, no. no. Uh, but we did say that they gave it kind of like the one silhouette to a certain yeah. degree. But a, a, a lot of a lot yeah. of um, I would say like new brands to sneakers mm -hmm. when they come out with their first ones, it it always has somewhat of a silhouette of a Jordan one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, that's what we talked. I wasn't about. surprised. Yeah, we talked about that a little mm -hmm. bit on there, man. Amongst other things, man. So make sure you talk, check out. Uh, is the mic still on? That's wherever you can get your podcast. Uh, yeah, definitely an entertaining show uh, with your crew here. But uh, yeah, man, without further ado, man, um, we're going to get into the show. Uh, like I said, first song that we would suggest uh, from our favorite artists. Uh, so we're going to do about three. So I'm going to go around the room and, you know, everybody's going to pick their artists and, uh, and then give their song that they would recommend to anyone looking to get into that artist. So first up. Mike, <laughs> <laughs> who you got, man? Who's no your, who's past, your, though, I know, right? <laughs> I need to know who's going to. Uh, you got to choose your first artist, and what song would you recommend? My first artist is MF Doom, mm. and we don't need we don't need that, man. He no, said, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even read it that way. Yeah. Just said that. <laughs> I know him well enough to know what that, mm that is funny. means. Um. And this was tough. It was between two songs, but I actually it was between three. But um, I'm going with with all caps. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, all that's caps when we spell the man. And what's the what album is that off of? 
Oh, God. That's on. Oh, shit, I need B. Damn. <laughs> B's for PDOA, yeah. I at. know. Damn. Because when I get in the do mood, I just play. I feel you. I feel you. I've been shit. doing that oh, lately, too. real quick. Because <laughs> that's not mad. That's no, not it's not mad, mad yeah, villainy. It's, not. it's um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it? Oh, it is mad villainy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Wait, no, wait, hold on. I think it's no, mad no, it's, no, it's, no, mm, it's, hold on. People saying mad villainy in the co- okay. comments. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Sorry. I'm having a brain fart day. But yeah, there he you said, go. Damn, Micah Casual. <laughs> what did he say? Damn. He said, damn, Micah Casual. Mike is a casual? Micah yeah. Casual. Like oh, a Mike casual. A Casual. <laughs> you are a That's casual. That's funny. Yes, MFD I am. Fan. Yeah, I'm, oh, a, I'm a fake shit. Doom fan. Damn. Mike Cap Town. <laughs> 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 That's funny. But I get you, though. I, I do the same thing. Yeah. Like, I'll just, I'll just on the play. Yeah. yeah. I do the same thing. Um, Kenneth B. Inge, man. Who's who's your first artist, man? And who, when, what song are you going to recommend? Um, well, I'm gonna go a little young here, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, yellow bees. Yeah, I'm gonna say <laughs> yellow bees. <Yellow Yellow 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 <laughs> nah, man, I'm I'm going with Twenty One Savage, bro. Okay, okay. Twenty One Savage is is one of my. I'm faves. curious what song you gonna pick. My chopper hate naysayers. Whoa! <laughs> Out of all the Twenty One songs, that's, that's the one. That's that's the one that did oh, it for me, man. When man. he said when he said he named his AK. Uh, when he named his, his uh, whatever it was, yeah. uh, uh, KKK, because it, <laughs> it, <'cause> it <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I was like, this boy fooling, oh, bro. Man. Yeah, yeah, that that that's the one. If somebody say, man, you know, that, 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 21, I ain't, you, what, you like 21? I'm like, yeah. nah, man, you got to listen to this joint right here, bro. Mm. Like, oh, listen man. the way he, he flipped that shit, bro. That's okay. hilarious. Yeah. Mine would have been no heart from him. Mm. Grew up in mm. the streets without no heart. Well, that shit goes so hard. Yeah, uh, FIFO. Mm-hmm. Who's your Who's your first artist, and uh, what, what song are you recommending? Um, this is off of my favorite album from this particular artist, mm-hmm. Jay Z, the Black Album, mm-hmm. PSA, Public Service Announcement. If you tell me, hey, you know, I never heard Jay. Hey, listen mm-hmm. to this first, bro. Gotcha. Listen to that first right there, Public Service Announcement. That's a, mm. good, that's a good entry point. What somebody ain't heard, Jay. I didn't want to do Jay. I didn't mm. do Jay. Just, mm-hmm. just so everybody know, I didn't do Jay. Just, I, I, you know. One of us was going to do Jay. Because I figured you might, mm-hmm. and I was I just like, I'll just let you. Huh? I had him on my list. Too. Oh, okay, okay. I had a lore, though. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right, so what artists uh, do you have you want to um, bring to the table? And what, and what uh, song would you recommend? Oh, uh, Vince Staples. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, well, hold be... on. Don't get it wrong, though. Ooh. Oh, hold on! I Ooh. fuck with Vince now. Uh, lift me up, lift oh. me up. That was the song that got me into Vince Staples. It was particularly okay. the line when he goes, "Uh, mm. hold this shit, ain't Griffin though. We really killing, kicking those." And I was like, mm. "Oh, okay." And then as I sat down, I like, really like that would make me really sit back and really listen to him and see what he's saying. Yeah. And then when I really thought about the what that line really means mm-hmm. and how like, oh y'all, this y'all think this is just all magical magical negro shit and it's not like mm-hmm. this is my real life this isn't glorified mm-hmm. we really kill we really do this and yeah, i was like oh wow. slider too bro i know you Dang. trying to take my job mm-hmm. taking b job and <laughs> my job <laughs> <laughs> thanks sonny i forgot to turn the uh focus you turn the focus off on it yeah 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 um Damn, Vince, I didn't expect that. That's yeah, 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 yeah. What, what album? Like did you say the album? I like that. That's off of? Uh, Summertime 06. Okay, all right, cool, cool. And my, and my was from Without Warning. Hmm? Oh, okay, yeah, that's the right. 21 yeah, Savage yeah, yeah, Offset yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, Metro Boom. I forgot y'all, that y'all need to go listen to that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man, my first one is in the thumbnail, man. It's Mock Hami. Uh, that's one of my favorite artists. And uh, the song comes off of... I feel like Pray for Haiti. I feel like that's one of his. Like, yes, it is. Man, that that album mm-hmm. is, is so so great. And the entry point, I would say the song I would suggest is the uh, the Stella Ray Theory. I think that was a really accessible kind of song. I feel like he sounded a lot like Most Deaf, and I feel like that's a lot more palatable for people. Um, that's first entry for uh, Makami, so that's the one that I would particularly pick for somebody to, you know. Listen, if you wanna if you wanna get into Makami, go to that Pray for Haiti album and listen to that Stella Ray Ray Theory song. That would be mine. All right. So okay. we're gonna go back around. I'm gonna start with you, FIFO. Come okay. back to you. 
who's your second artist that you know you want to put out there i remember um i gave this artist years ago when we did the review um i wasn't feeling it like that but then you know i really liked the project mm -hmm. um but isaiah Rasad, sylvia demo yeah. um the song yeah. is r.i.p kevin miller you know Ooh. that that's my joint on that even even when i didn't like the project that was the joint that i liked mm -hmm. but you know over time i definitely grew to like the that project but mm -hmm. severe demo the project r.i.p kevin miller isaiah rashad i'm proud of you fifo <laughs> thank you sonny yeah lucky listen to hip-hop oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one that's a good one that is a good one that's a good one i like it uh Coming back to you, Ashton, man. What uh, what's your what's your second artist, and what's that song? All right, it'll be Big Crit. Okay, mm. okay. And it's uh, he taking everybody's job. <laughs> <laughs> he taking no, everybody's no, no. job. A Big Crit, it'll be a Time Machine featuring Chameleon, though, because you get mm, everything. Really? You get everything with, from Crit. He's talking about a car. Mm -hmm. He's giving you storytelling. Damn. Mm. You know, it's it's real southern. He, mm -hmm. You know, he talk about um, mm. his dad. Like he, everything about Big Crit is in that song. Damn. Mm -hmm. He made the beat. It's, mm. it's everything right Say now. Something so that, like, I'm looking. I'm waiting. I if it was, mm -hmm. if I was to give someone like a Big Crit song, and you know, because maybe like uh, he got a million like songs in 1986. Mm. <laughs> Do you like Crit still? <laughs> yeah, I still you like sure? Crit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you sure? Man? Yeah. Hey, Ooh. hey, just recently we did, uh, uh, <laughs> what, what, what's the name like of that, <laughs> that EP he just dropped? The, um, yeah, shit. exactly. You know I'm bad with I names. I bet he knows. You know I'm bad with names. <laughs> but like, uh, King Part 5, yeah, like that mm -hmm. shit was amazing. Mm -hmm. So to me, you know, if, it, you know, you already took Big Crit, so I'm not going to rehash Big Crit, but I would have gave anybody any of the Kings, you know what I'm saying? All yeah. five of them shits is look, 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 like, you know, huh. because because I, I don't disagree with that particular song, but hmm. I think the lyrical prowess of Big Crit is better displayed on all of the King series. So that's what I would give somebody, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just. My favorite one is Mount Olympus, man. Like what that, he did with that. Mm. Oh, my God. Like, yep. I feel like that with every, like, Oh, I got to hear more of this guy. Mm -hmm. The original or the one that's on the album? Uh. Was it like, why you want to hear a country nigga? The harder right. one yeah, is, harder. Yeah, Whichever yeah. the hardest yeah. one was, that yeah. one. Which, which one is the that? The original. The, the That's original. the original one? Yeah. Yes, that shit. Because oh the one on God. the album is the reprise, and that yeah. one, yeah. the beat is softer. Yeah. He, it, Everything he did is the same, but yeah, yeah. the original is the hardest get, like, one. You can get the sample cleared. Yeah, yeah, the original is the hardest one. Yeah, man. That, ooh, that song's so, so good. Uh, I'm on this side of the room now. Mike C-Town, what, uh, what's that second artist? Album, if you can remember, and then the, <laughs> <laughs> the company flow, obviously. Okay. The song would be the fire in which you burn. Mm. The album is Fun Crusher Plus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they had a Fun Crusher before the plus, yeah, right? EP, yeah, 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 EP, yeah. So it's not on the EP; it's on the plus version. Why are you doing I'm this? Sorry. You don't be asking <laughs> them sorry. all these fucking I'm sorry. questions. I'm just, you know, <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember I got if it's on the EP or not because I don't ever listen to the EP because I, I got just listen to the album. Yeah, yeah, why? Yeah, um, what's your what's your next one? Um, can you beat your ass, Rob Costa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going with Little Brother. Okay, mm. okay. I'm curious to see what song. If you had to guess, which one you think? Because I know you're an LB fan. I'll give you a hint. It's off uh the listener? Uh, oh no. Is it off the it's off the listening? No. Oh, it's off it's off a of Mr. Show? Yep. Loving it? You got it. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> my dog right here, bro. <laughs> bro. Loving it, bro. Yeah. Bro, that song is so good. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peak, yeah. peak, yes. Peak little brother. Yes. So if somebody say, hey man. Little brother, like I, I, I don't know, like what is it about? I was like, nah, listen to this right yeah. here. Listen to it, 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 yeah. it yeah, it, it, it perfectly to mm -hmm. me encapsulate what they nah, it's do good. best, man. That, that, shit, that is my joint. Yeah. yeah, you can go ahead and listen to it. Nah, he's he trying to find a song. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to find a logic song. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Oh man! Oh, oh wow! wow. <laughs> that is crazy. Really? That is crazy. Wow! That is crazy. Please go to FIFO decks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my, my next, uh, I haven't gave my next one yet, right? Mm -hmm. uh, my next artist is Rock Marciano. Um, and then this is, with, you know, shout out to B. I know B probably would have had him on his list as well. But yeah, he is one of my, another one of my favorite rappers. Uh, and this comes off of Reloaded. 
And that song is Emeralds. Emeralds is such a good Rock Marciano track. Um, I feel like it's a really good entry point for if you've never listened to Rock Marciano, that Emeralds is so, I mean, he's floating on that shit. So sweet. So yeah, man, definitely um, that Rock Marciano Emeralds off Reloaded. That would be my entry point for him. Uh, going back around the room, I'm going to start with Ashton, man. What's your, what's your last one? This, this is going to be the last round. What's your, what's your last artist? Uh, Jeezy, Go Crazy. Mm. Off of the Ooh. Motivation 101. Mm. Yeah, that's the, that's the one. That's the one. You got a Jay-Z feature. You got Jeezy. Give it, that's, on that album, that's probably the him best is best showcase of rapping. Mm. Like, oh, you really tried on this one? Mm-hmm. Um, you still got all the uh, bravado he has. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gritty Street Tales. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Go crazy. Okay. The beat's amazing. You got Jay on the on the, on the uh, remix. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, FIFO, what's your last one, man? What, what, what you going with? Oh man, um, I got a couple of ways I could go. Um, I was thinking and I can come back to you if you, if you want. No, 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 yeah, it's yeah. cool. And I'm saying like like after this one, like if you got another one you want to put. Oh up yeah, I, de- I definitely got right. uh, joints. Um, okay, I got you. Um, you know, I was thinking I was gonna go Logic, um, and I was trying to figure out because there's about five or six Logic joints that I would give somebody, you know, to go listen to. But um, in all honesty, the I, question I'm, is where you would tell them to stop. <laughs> 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 the Young Sinatra series. No. Just listen to no. all of the Young Sinatras, and then just stay in that realm. But uh, nah, I'm actually I'm I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go to somebody that I just recently found, mm-hmm. uh, Primo Rice. Okay. Primo oh. Rice. And it is my son's favorite song. I understand. Look, don't judge me because I know the, the language in it. But Money Dance. That's that's the joint. Primo Rice Money Dance. That is So right now if I leave here, mm-hmm. type in Primo Rice. Money Dance. You gonna fuck with that. And I'm gonna wanna listen to everything Primo yeah. Rice. Okay. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. That's what's up. That's Primo what's Rice up. Money Dance. I like I like it. I mess with it. I mess with it. Uh you did your last one, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kenneth B. Edge. What's your what's your your last one, man? This 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 last one was a struggle. Um, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going with Scarface, but there were Ooh, so wait. many records, bro. Like it's mm. like it's it's in, it's incredible. I I, I looked at um, old Scarface, Money and the Power joints and stuff mm-hmm. like that, but. You know, sound a little old, right? Mm-hmm. A little dusty. I'm like, I don't know. That would that would do it for folks. <laughs> um, you know, we know all the ones from the. It's gonna be from the diary, but it's not gonna be one of the records that people know. I I think for me, it's the title cut. Is one of the ones that I will play. I I think that's Scarface, like rapping really really a, a, aggressive. He he's challenged by somebody who come in and say that I can out rap you. Damn. And he was like, well, come on in. And he just just goes in, like, just straight rapping. Mm-hmm. And then the guy just be like, nah, I got it, bro. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. And he just leaves, like, where you going? Where you going? Like, just everything about that, the the charisma, the bravado, like, the 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 thing. It was just, it's like, it's it's a it's an album cut that that rarely ever gets discussed. Mm-hmm. But I think it 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 really would move people to listen to more from him mm. yeah yeah so um i could have went with one of the storytelling cuts mm-hmm. thought about of course this can't be life that's mm-hmm. off of jay-z records mm-hmm. so i struggled with life. that one I got you. Mm-hmm. because you know it's it's the verse mm-hmm. so i just like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm I'm highlight one of my yeah, favorite one scarface yeah. songs no nah, for sure yep. no nah, i mess with it uh i you got you got yours mike mm-hmm, but you okay. can go if you if you need to no no go ahead go ahead i couldn't remember if i went to you because the way out where I went, but yeah, what's your what's your um, last one? I had two rappers, but I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Tame One. Okay, and I would play Concerto, um, which is him rapping over this insanely mm-hmm. weird like piano riff, and it's it's absolutely one of the dopest shits you'll ever hear. Mm-hmm. And I definitely think that would make people want to go and listen to more Tame One. So there you go, and that's on when rappers attack because I know you're about to ask. <laughs> 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 All right, man, my. Last one is going to be Jid. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And that song is going to come from The Never Story. Um, and it's going to be the last song on The Never Story, which is Lauder. 
Mm. I feel like that mm. is just showcasing who he is and who he, who like who he was, everything. And he did so much on that track to me, and I think it's a really good entry point for what Jid is now. Mm -hmm. Like he he was rapping like the way he raps mm -hmm. now is how he was rapping on that song then. So I get you. Yeah, because uh, he even made a, a, a lot of part two mm -hmm. on the, on his last project. So mm -hmm. uh, that would be my entry point for Jid. If you've never heard Jid. Yeah, man, go go to the Never Story album, click the last song, and then you can go back and finish the rest of the album. But yeah, man, that Lauder is really, really fucking good. But, so yeah, that would be my uh, uh, when Jid was good. <laughs> that's funny. That's crazy. Wow, <laughs> that could being be disrespectful. Where like, Nick at? Anybody have any other like honorable yeah. mentions that y'all have on your list? I, I, I got a couple oh, uh, got? that I, that I'll go real quick through. Mm -hmm. Uh, Larry June Smoothies in 1991. He has too many projects. I don't remember what project that is on, but just type in Smoothies in 1991. That is Larry June at his finest. Mm -hmm. um, give me Logic. We get high. It's on one of the Young Sinatras. That is when I was listening to Young Sinatra like that. That was always in my Apple Music top plays, like top 25. Mm -hmm. So we get high. That's one of my favorite Logic joints. And then Nas. Um, and I, I always tell B this is controversial, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, New York State of Mind Part 2. It's on I Am album. I like Part 2 more than Part 1, but that's just me. Mm. Uh, Ashton, did you have any more you wanted to? Uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. Benny the Butcher. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Why are you laughing? <laughs> No, you're oh, laughing at me. Oh, you're I like part two. You. No, it's, yeah, it's not you. Oh, it's not you. The I like part two. Was like, what? It's not you. I'm like, what's wrong with Benny the Butcher? Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Benny the Butcher. Oh, uh, <laughs> India, India of, of uh, a friend of ours. Okay. His name, yeah, that's the one. That's the first Benny the Butcher song I heard. That's the first. That's who got me into Brazil. Mm. It'd be that one and that song in particular. And then if you listen to uh, Five to Fifty off of um, the mm -hmm. Blows I Met, that's that it's one. Just, it's like it's part two. So oh, you get a whole, okay. You get a whole uh, story in it too for that. And then uh, probably Lupe Fiasco's Hurt Me Daydreamer? Soul. Daydreamer? Oh, okay. The, Hurt no, Me Soul Daydreamer, is Yeah, Daydream is up there, but Hurt Me Soul, Hurt me soul off of um, Food and Liquor, that was the song. That and like American Terrorist. Those are the two songs that I would like sit back like, oh mm -hmm. my God, I didn't mm -hmm. know I didn't know rap could do this. That was that was the moment. But yeah, Hurt Me Soul. Mm. That's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have any more, Mike? Um, let's see. Yeah, one more. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. one more. Billy Woods. Mm -hmm. Billy Woods. I would give them, even though it's lost in uh, Odd Friday for some bizarre reason. I would give them Crocodile Tears. Mm. Um, I, I was gonna go with Duck Hunt, but mm. I would go Crocodile Tears just because Billy Woods' aggression in that song is just so fucking good. And I think that that if you're like a rap fan, I think that would make you want to go back and be like, all right. Cause I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that saw him rise really quick, mm -hmm. but just haven't had time or the energy to go back and look into his catalog. So yeah, I would definitely start with Crocodile Tears, and that's on History Will Absolve Me, mm -hmm. my you, favorite album. Do you remember what it lost to? No, I don't. It was it was obviously a Mock Homie song, but yeah, I don't yeah, remember, I don't which, remember one. which song mm -hmm. I played to try to beat it. No. But um, policy, don't do me no favors. Yeah, that was that was a really good. I don't know. No, nah, they were I, saying that, that the shit wasn't good. They were like, really? I, yeah, they were in the chat talking about, I didn't really fuck with that beat. Huh? Man, fuck you and your beat. <laughs> right. Your mama should have beat you harder. I feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You shouldn't beat your kids. That's not nice. Oh uh, man, did you have another one? Nah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mike, uh, uh, Isaiah, check your microphone. Can can y'all hear? Uh, uh, Isaiah back there. Yeah, we want to make sure y'all can hear him before he tell give us his three. Yeah, you I'm got three. All the way up. Yeah, I got actually got okay. four actually. All right. Yeah. Um. So the first one I have was a uh, Smino. Um. It's the Black Jupiter title track from his Black Jupiter EP. Mm -hmm. That was like the first track that I heard from him where it that, that like that, I feel like it represents what Smino is like the type of sound he does is produced by Monte Booker. He has John Doe and all the other Chicago people that he typically came up with on it. Mm -hmm. Um, doing a lot of the background vocal stuff, so I think that's a good intro. So I'm doing a book report and shit. Get your ass up, Mike. <laughs> 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 um, after that, it's just Marcellus Javon. He's a uh, rapper out of Texas. Ooh. It's Marcellus Javon. He's a rapper out of Texas. Hmm. He has a um, yeah, he's really dope. He has an album called The Fall. The track I would suggest over that is Book of Life. Uh, after that, mm, it's just. One of the <laughs> after that, oh, I have uh, Michael Da Vinci, uh, Roy Rage. It's just a single. It's not to an album, but it's a really dope song. 
And then after that, it's just Internet James. He has a track called 622 off of his project, Quebec Place. He's a DC artist. Really, un really slept on my personal opinion. These are your favorite artists. These yeah. are his favorite friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually heard of Internet James. Yeah. you never heard of Internet James? I have, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to look up all these dudes for real. Yeah, Because no, like, you don't ever recommend music like that. I promise you. Like, Mike specific, my, myself, Javon, I think you will like him specifically. Mike, okay. he, he, produces, he produces a lot of his own stuff, and he gets, like, really dark and experimental with stuff. Mm. Um, Book of Life probably is not the most experimental one. I would do hard headed. That's probably his most experimental one. But yeah, I think Book of Life itself as a song, just his rapping ability on it, it really shines. Mm. <laughs> cool. All right, I'm gonna look him. I'm gonna look him up. Yeah. <laughs> it's now is the time to put yeah. them on. Mm -hmm. I know it's the I time. Now. Talking about <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, that was that was some of you know just a couple of few of our uh, favorite artists and some of the songs that we think would be a. He just no, broke, right, he just oh, broke right. something. I'm sorry, that that we think would be a good entry point for you guys to check them out. Um, you know, like I see some of y'all giving y'all suggestions in the comments. So yeah, if you're coming to this video because you saw the title, you know, look in the comments. You know, see, you know, you might, maybe you might find some new music, man, some new favorite artists. So yeah, make sure you check those out. Um, but without further ado, at this part of the show, this is where I hand it over to Ken to go through the super chats that came in bars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jabbar Franklin, uh, what would I have to do to send a song in for y'all to react live? You could have just did it right then. Uh, yeah, we well, I don't think there's a way he could have actually sent the, sent the song. Like right um, now? Uh, but you could have attached the YouTube link. Yeah. You can do that with Super Chats. You're right. You fucked You're right. Up, You're absolutely right, Jabbar. See? You could have just sent the link. Now you got to pay again. They're like, <laughs> please stop sending Look. songs. <laughs> He, he paid five dollars. He could have bought a whole French Montana record. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! He and got a better value oh, for his five dollars. Probably would have to travel to go get it though. <laughs> <laughs> right. But um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, that that is one way. Mike is correct. I mean, we would need time to to listen to it. So maybe about a week or two to actually. Yeah, yeah, definitely two weeks because we we're biweekly. So, uh, but yeah, that, that's one way. So there you go. All uh, righty then. Are Super Chats off now? Uh, yeah, okay. I just I okay. forgot. <laughs> we, I need to be here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, JR, what's up, y'all? Are any of you uh, are, are yeah. any of you familiar with the Mussolini? Yes. He's got three projects with Knife Wonder and already dropped two solid albums this year. Will be great for D three sixty five if y'all check them out. We 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 already jumped on the Mussolini. Um, I I came across him, so we already did a review. I. Don't know when it's coming out. It was the one with 38 Special. Yes, where 38 Special did uh, the production. So we are definitely going to jump back and do more Mussolini because he has a lot of dope producers he's worked with, like Crisis, Ninth Wonder, shit. There's some other big ones, too. I can't remember. But yes, we are aware of Mussolini. At least me and Ken are. Vibes and stuff. Two got to go. Gun Metaphor Track Edition. I gave you power by Nas versus me and my girlfriend by Pac versus when sparks fly by Vince Staples. Mm. We said what's, one gotta what's go. The first song? So um, two gotta go. Mm. Two Ooh. gotta go. So we gotta get rid of two tracks so we can only keep one out of the three. I'm gonna be a poser. What is what is uh, what's gun? I can't see that. I, so, yeah, I know. Isaiah, can you maximize that window? Don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. So what's gun, gun metaphor? metaphor? What is that? Who's so, that? So like, you know, Nas, I gave you power. No, I know what a gun metaphor oh, is. I sure. thought he was saying this is a song. <laughs> no. Oh, he's saying no, the, the, the concept. Three, yeah. Yes. Out, of, out of the Got concept, it. these three songs, one of two of them have to go. So me and my girlfriend by Pac, when Sparks Fly by Vince Staples, or I gave you power by Nas. Oh, I'm a, I'm a dumbass. Yeah. I, I, I thought he was saying gun metaphor the track yeah. edition, like that no. was a song. No. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm man. sorry. The I'm one sorry. I'm keeping is I Gave You Power by Nas. That's the one I'm keeping. Yeah, why the did you say two, two gotta go? go? Well, you just could have said. One gotta stay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, you know, people wear shit different. I'm yeah. agree with FIFO. I Gave You Power. That's I know, I'm Rob. Staying. I'm not having a good night. I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm admitting actually, it. That was the first one that popped in my head to keep. I Gave You Power. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Man, which one came first, me and my girlfriend or a Nas joint? No, it was me and my, my girlfriend, girlfriend right? first. I think just for that alone, it wouldn't be I Gave You Power without that song. Mm, I disagree, but okay. What you mean you disagree? Because I, I don't, like those songs are completely different in terms of the perspective. 
Like because because Pac Pac is talking about it from an aspect like I'm not going nowhere without this piece. Like Nas was talking, I am the like I am the gun. So you don't think it was it was pulled from that at all? Like it's a at all. It don't feel Fired like it. By. They're it, saying Nas was first, so no. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. that's why I said whichever one. It's really whichever one came first is which okay. is the one I would pick because it wouldn't be one without the other. The yeah, other. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that take. But okay, I don't think I do either because mm. guns were already such a popular thing. At some point, someone was going to do that. So, so yeah, yeah. I never heard me and my girlfriend about Tupac. Yeah, you so, have. Uh, I, it's in like car commercials. <laughs> You've heard it. All I need Maybe. in this world is <laughs> me, me and my, my girlfriend. girlfriend. You've heard that. Well, we got oh. some work to do. Yeah, yeah. see? Yeah, yeah a, you've heard that, right? Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Jeez. And then somebody else redid it. I thought uh, Jay Z. Jay Z. Yeah. yeah. With, uh, Bonnie and Clyde, yeah. 03 Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah, that's what I, that would be my reference for that. Yeah. It was, it was Pop first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jay Pop made it literal. That's like, cool. That's him cool. and his girlfriend. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I would. Yeah. That one wouldn't win. Um, Nas, I gave you power. I really like that song. I just think Nas ruins it. Mm. He's like, <laughs> no, like when he's like, it's like, it's like I'm a gun. It's like he don't trust you enough to get it. I never, that always bothered me because, like, you couldn't. What? <laughs> I didn't. I, I'm, I never I'm, liked that. Ashton, I'm lost. <laughs> I am lost. Nas was talking to him. <laughs> right. no, like, so, I'm, so he's like, giving the whole gun metaphor. It's like, oh, you uh-huh. pay attention. Like, oh, yeah. He's, oh, he's rapping from the perspective of a gun. But when he says, it's like, it's like I'm a gun. It's like it ruins the song for me because like you, it's like you giving me the answer to the test. Like, oh, you made. But there's this, probably a lot of motherfuckers whole, that failed the test though. But that's the point. It's like, oh, when you get it, you be like, oh, you know, you're talking about a gun, right? You be like. Oh, but he was shit. probably worried that a lot of people wouldn't get it. <laughs> nah, yeah, but I was like, you gotta trust. Yeah. I was like, you gotta trust your audience more. Here they go. Here they go. Damn. What beats yet? Oh, <laughs> what beats yet? I knew it was coming sooner yeah. or later. I mean, you you asked <laughs> for it. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew I asked for it. I said I like the song. It's oh, a great song. Man. It's just like I personally think. I know what you mean. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I know what you mean. Damn, that was a hot. It's I mean, like talking down to the listener a little bit. Yeah, I was like, yeah. B about to slap his head off. <laughs> oh, I was like, if he man. takes that one part out, I feel you. I think it's a, I think it's a perfect song. Yeah, oh, man, that's so, yeah, funny. What, what but part? rappers just do that all the time. Get it? They'll say something. Get it? You remember mm-hmm. when rappers just mm-hmm. do that all the time? They'll they'll say a bar like get it. Oh, yeah. yeah, but what he's saying, I get why he's saying but it that's a problem. Ruin the whole it doesn't ruin the song, but it does kind of be like, I, I well, you didn't need to say that. I say that but yeah, yeah, I get it's you. Um, a lot of people agree with it. Well, not a lot of people. Some people agree with it. Because yeah, like, they didn't get it until he just explained it. <laughs> <laughs> they slow asses. Right, next minute. question, man. Next question. Really? Man. Wait, he was Come rapping on. from a. Oh, um, shit. <laughs> Oh, Keep God. Ashton around because he breaking shit down. <laughs> man, what up, Shelton? Oh man. man. Oh, I was wait. Shelton, Shelton is in here. Shelton J. Yeah, oh, you just said I was just about to fuck with him because oh, everybody shit. liked Shelton until he said Kendrick Lamar was. <laughs> wow. I love you, Shelton. Oh, that was the funniest shit I've heard in my life. All right, uh, Gothic Cathedral. Appreciate the donation. Uh, Portugal's. Hey y'all, thanks for the content. Who did it better? Beyonce or Franklin the Turtle? I don't get it. <laughs> what? I don't either. I don't Why understand do the context. Understand who's that? who's the turtle? Franklin. It's Who like did a kid it show. better, Frank, Beyonce or Franklin the Turtle? I, like, what are they Does talking? Anybody about? know what he's talking about? No. Nope. Who did it better? I don't. I, I have no clue. How much he paid? Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, well, y'all figured out. We, we can circle back to it. Yo, Mike, minor threat or black flag? Minor threat. Don't like black flag. Never have. Even with oh. Keith Morris singing, it's never my thing. I'm sorry. You said that quick, too. Mm-hmm. Because people get really upset about that, but mm. not my thing. I'm sorry. I thought you said it quick. They wouldn't hear you. <laughs> no, I say it. I say it slowly. Minor threat. Even though I don't like that guilty of being white bullshit, and I really wish he'd explain why he wrote that fuck ass song. But I don't like Black Flag. Never have. Oh, he's watching on. T- he's replying on Twitter. Okay. Um, yeah. I figured out what they're talking about. What are they talking about? So basically, Beyonce is being accused of copying the um, theme song cartoon for the the actual original cartoon um, of Turtle, the Franklin, the Franklin Turtle. Okay. Yeah, that's why they're saying that because it's, it's, people been saying that she basically stole their whole flow. So what, what song? The the new country hit that she. She did. has two. Yeah. Um. Huh? It's two of them. Which uh, one? Uh, Texas Hold'em. Oh. Yeah. 
Hmm. Okay. All right. But I do not know the answer. I don't either. Um, yeah. Why and forever. There's been this thread on Twitter going around about what are the worst bars in hip hop history. And it's basically a Big Sean bashing session. I blame oh, the I discourse saw. on y'all. Oh. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it's y'all fault. They need oh. to blame it on uh, the rap critic. Rap critic, that was his his concept. We just brought it to the show. I got to see this this thread. I've seen, I seen it. I've seen you it, did? though. I think people yeah, are but, trying to say we did it. But, no, er, but early no on, huh? we, we were very harsh on Big Sean. Yeah, and we I think we kind of set the tone for people's opinions to be <laughs> harsh against what and how he was saying things. Mm. Mm. I yeah. think we were one of the first people extremely critical of Big Sean on the internet. Probably so. Because he was popular. Extremely. And we broke popular. him down. Yeah, yeah. He was popular. Damn. Yeah, we were pretty mean. We called him ass trash. You yeah. called him ass trash. <laughs> nah, we were too. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel kind of bad about that. I apologize. We, we have, and, and and I'm sure he didn't see it. Probably I don't not. know. Maybe. Maybe. No, I'm saying I'm sure he didn't see the apology because by that point oh, he's like, that, fuck yeah. these guys. Yeah, but but we have come around and we have said, you know, in later projects, like Big Sean has upped his game a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To the point where we fuck with a, a lot of Big Sean later projects. Yeah. Like I always say, it started with Dark, Dark Sky Paradise for me. After that point, I'm like, oh, okay, this nigga, he, you know, he took it to heart. Like, this nigga is really rapid. Yeah. Next question. What? I'll say next question. <laughs> <laughs> the Big Day and Revival are such horrid albums. It taints chances and M's whole catalog for me. Mm. Y'all got examples about this yourselves. Those are good examples. Yeah, those are good examples. To taint a whole catalog, though, bro. It, shit. E, that's, yeah, that's, that's extreme. I can't. Talking about the revival for Eminem. Yeah, that doesn't. No, he has two. He's too legendary for just one so, album. You know so? Lupe's lasers could have been up there, right? It could have, mm -hmm. but yeah. it didn't. But yeah, he, I mean, he came one. back. Though. But he's yeah. not saying it ruins. He just says taints. Oh, taints. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay. I heard tanks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, he's saying taint. So okay, I, yeah. I get it. Yeah, it so Lupe's laser was definitely beyond there. Yeah. Uh, Kanye's Yeezus and Jesus is King. The Jesus whole not that second bad. half of Kanye's career, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, to me, it started with those two. Yeah. And then, you know. It, <laughs> well, Life of Pablo and then back, you know. Bro, I got to Life of Pablo was after bro. Yeezus? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was after. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, Pablo came the back over the then. downfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then Jesus is King is after Life of Pablo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it did go down, up, down, and it's still on a downward trajectory. Oh, um, shit, everything Twister past uh, Damn. Kamikaze. Yeah. Hey, I'm a big Twister guy, but I, yeah, yeah. That, like that shit was good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Ka Ka Kanye moved on, and I don't know what happened to Twister. Oh, this is crazy. They really went in on this dude, bro. Yeah, 48 man. hours? What? Wow. They say he was trending for 48 hours, bro. Big Sean? That's mean. That's crazy. Leave him alone. He's gotten that's, better. I can see if he, he was has. still whack. Damn, that's He's crazy. gotten better. Let him be better. Mm -hmm. Damn. Hmm. Has anybody went back and listened to Jesus? Hell, I no. tried. I tried. It's still ass. You think so? I don't, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's bad. It's ass. Mm. Copley Z24, what's your favorite Stevie Wonder album? Ooh, mm. Secret Life of Plants is my favorite Stevie Wonder album. That's a good one. People get upset about that too, but that's okay. That's a good one. Um, Songs in the Key of Life. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's yeah. the one. Mine is second is Inner Visions, but yeah, that's a good one too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's like, who's Stevie Wonder? No, I know, I know Stevie. <laughs> I, don't I know, know Stevie J. Like that. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all niggas got jumped. <laughs> What's up, kid? I'm looking. We need to be here. That's what we need. I know he's the Be biggest, it, it, biggest. You know which one it is, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, know songs like he like, yeah, I thought yeah, he always yeah. says. Yeah. yeah, that's the one. That's the one, man. It, oh, it's not talking book. Uh, or is it for. I might be with you on Inner Visions, bro. No, Inner Visions is a great album. But Secret Life of Plants I play the most just because it's so fucking chill mm. and relaxed. It's like a perfect put it on while you're working or reading or just whatever album. Yeah, I think they, it's Inner Visions. They about to call Ken a casual. <laughs> 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 
Which one? You can't use a you can't choose a compilation, dude. Yeah, I go with that's cheating. Okay. Yeah, I just listened to this whole discography last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, where was I? You did some IG joint, uh, TikTok mm-hmm. joints. Yeah, I never, like I that, never right? finished them because I got uh, busy doing other stuff. But yeah. I got, I have like four or five reviews of his albums. Yeah. I, I did the whole discography. That's actually. what I thought. Yeah. I just haven't released the second half of them, but I got them all somewhere around here. I just got to edit them and put them out on my on my channel. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Mm, hotter yeah. than July is a good one too. Y'all are right. For a long time, that was mine until I did a, the until I relisted mm. the discography last time mm. uh, last year. Um, but because it has some, it has like two of my favorite Stevie songs on there. Uh, two got to stay. Aquemini, AT Aliens. Midnight Marauders or Low End Theory? Mm. Two gotta stay. Oh shit. I'm gonna go AT Aliens and Low End Theory. Give me the two outcast joints. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Whatever. Like them other niggas like uh, Quamini and Midnight Marauders. <laughs> sure Wait, which ones did you say? Uh, Quamini and Midnight Marauders. Those are staying. Yeah. Mm. Man. Who got to stay? Why do they do that? Uh, Midnight Marauders. <sighs> and AT Aliens. I'm definitely going Equimini. I'm trying to figure out which, because I, re- I like that low end theory. I think I'm going to go low end theory and Equimini. All right, next one. Uh, boom. Damn. Oh, you dropped the hammer. Oh, damn. Um, thank you, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah, or person, real. friend. Man, that's dope. Uh, a fan since the Mike Layup era. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that all the layup. years of <laughs> That's first a of all, it was a fuck up. First of all, <laughs> that wasn't a layup. <laughs> <laughs> A, lay- uh, a layover. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for the years of last through bad times. To celebrate the release of my EP tomorrow, I sent two songs through the Patreon DMs for y'all to judge live, preferably. Mm. More ears, more critique. Songs are short. Thank you, DEHH crew. Mm. Uh, so, uh, Is this whoever that first guy again? was, Jabbar. Mr. Bar? Mr. Bar? Yeah, whatever his name was. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> From now on, that's how that's you do how it. You do. <laughs> yeah. So right. we got you. You uh, you you will we'll definitely um make that happen mm-hmm. uh for the next live in two weeks. So we'll 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 carve out a, a segment for that underground. Um appreciate the the super duper uh chat and uh we'll, we'll see what these songs sound like, bro. Nah, for sure. For sure, that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Set. I was thinking the same thing. This the same mind. fucking guy. Keep your mind. Keep bro, your mind. I think set. that's gonna be. I, I, you know, whenever I see we doing lives and stuff, people be saying that, bro. Like this dude, it's it's a moment, bro. It's a it's a dead hip hop live moment. This dude got a song out here that that people uh, quote. Mm-hmm. It's kind of crazy. Keep your mind you done made set. it, bro. Keep your mind that's set. Up. Yep. Uh, all right. Um, Thank you again. Nah, for yes. Sure. One gotta go. Teddy Pendergrass, Luther Vandross, or Barry White. Ooh. I'm going. Teddy gotta go. Yep. I'm sorry. Teddy gotta go. I'm sorry. No. What? Yeah, Lu- yeah. Luther, ba- and Luther, Barry Luther ain't, ain't going, going nowhere. nowhere. And Barry ain't going nowhere. Mm-hmm. What is Teddy? Turn him off. Turn him off. That's all he got, though. No, it's not. That's all he got today. Nah, bro. <laughs> what? Nah. Who you, go, who you gonna go, Barry? I, I yeah. think so. Yeah, Barry. Out I of think here, so. Bro. It's just the yeah. voice. As deep as your voice is, you gonna let go <laughs> of Barry. <laughs> But the, the man that's crazy. Yeah, y'all, no, no, that's look, crazy. I, any one of these would be crazy. Let, let's let's, let's oh, yeah, be clear. Let's be clear. No, any one of these, take any one of these crazy. off is crazy. I think Barry is less crazy. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. Teddy, Teddy is insane, bro. Come on, bro. y'all. y'all no, man, like that. That's the bad, one no. that will stand automatically off. Real. Yeah. Nah, yeah, Terry's thing. No. Yo, y'all, 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 y'all need to go back. Yeah. No, we don't. I don't really know a lot of Barry White. No, we don't. Huh? I don't know a lot of Barry White's music. Yeah, he got like classics. You know, can't get enough of your love. That's yeah. all you need to know. <laughs> That's the only song you need to know. And just off the strength of that song, Teddy's got to go. Well, t- 
Turn off turn the lights. Off. Turn off turn the lights. Off. Damn, Harold so Melvin and the, the Blue yeah. Nose, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, that's crazy. Practice what yeah, you that, preach. That, you didn't yeah. even talk. Like, you got to get rid that's of that. Good. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. You got to get rid of that. Wake yo. up, everybody. <laughs> Come on, y'all. I'm awake. <laughs> Are y'all serious? I, I think I want to give y'all some time. If you don't know me by now. Never going to give you up. <laughs> <laughs> yo. I'm giving up Teddy. Next question. And I like Teddy. Now, he has a better album cover when he's up there with his little draws, <laughs> chilling. But no, Teddy's got to go. Oh, y'all, y'all miss that's you. That's not saying Teddy's bad. I like Teddy Pendergrass, yeah, but you. no. Oh, miss man, you. I miss you. Oh, hey, I, I, I'm going to have to miss Teddy. All right, man. <laughs> I, 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 I don't heard enough. This is ridiculous. This, this is. That's okay. preposterous. <laughs> <laughs> you, need another, you need a stronger word, kid. This is preposterous. <laughs> It'd be one of those word right. of the days that we Everybody's keeping Luther, though. Hey. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Luther. I think okay. Luther's, Luther's good. Yeah, no, Luther ain't going no fucking way. Luther ain't going anywhere. A house is still a home. Right. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's funny because Barry, Luther, and Isaac Hayes were three artists that I wanted to go through their discography this year. That'd be fun. To all the albums. That would be really fun, yeah. actually. Uh, support, support. Big shout out to Cam for reading the Super Chats. If Rod did it, we would be here all night. Hashtag Rod. Damn, why are you Hey, man, this? come on, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Golly, y'all. Shit, hey, man. That's all oh, they fucked me for. He paid the shit on you. <laughs> I know. That's, like, cr- that's, like a, that's like a kink or something. I ain't, I ain't you know what I'm saying? the super chest in like, like two years. All right, man. Damn, bro. We gonna move on. That's uh, crazy. Just want to say, this is JR Flip 500. Just want to say y'all are keeping me sane and happy during some real trying times. Mm. I love y'all. Been a huge fan since 2011. Keep it up, y'all, for the culture, for the people. Hey, man. Appreciate Hanging it. Hanging there. Yeah. Hanging out. I, I wish the best. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Damn. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad we're able to help in, in some mm. kind of way. Nah, for sure. Um, so, yeah. Get All some right. therapy if you need it, boy. Yeah. For real, for real. For real. Deshaun 312. This was a trending topic recently. Okay. Dang. What's the worst bar you've heard, you ever heard? This was trending. So, the this, this is what they was talking This is the big yeah, thing. Yeah, this must be it. The I worst bar I've ever. I'd have to think about it. Yeah, yeah that's definitely. not something off the top. Like, yeah, so basically, okay, like, we can bookmark it. I'm yeah, sure so. it's some Eminem dick or doo doo bar. Yeah. Uh, oh, real quick too. Uh, shout out to uh, Pablo Hurtado. Yes. He's the one that that this uh, this live uh, came from. The question came from. So yeah, we got that from a patron. He's a patron supporter. So so yeah, that's that's where the first song we would suggest from our favorite artist uh, came from. Um, just watched your Akira episode on FPS. Mm. Disappointed most of you didn't care for it, but question for Mike or Jalen, have you watched Jinro, the Wolf Brigade, have a very similar to Akira? Nope. I'm literally writing that down now. Jinro? Mm-hmm. Uh, Isn't that on Netflix? I could have swore I've seen that somewhere. You see that, brother? Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you. Jinro. Got it. I'm going to watch it. Never heard of it. Y'all didn't fuck with Akira? They thought it was silly. No, it wasn't that we didn't mess with it. It was just, uh, I, I want, my take was, I, I don't want to speak for anybody else, but my take was, uh, I guess it was, it was so much, it was up here, like the, the uh, what am I trying to say? Mm-hmm. The anticipation was very high, and it just didn't quite meet it for me. But, you know, I get its importance or whatever. I, I did acknowledge the importance in what it did for anime and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, man, go check out the review. It's, Friends for Second Podcast. I was disappointed. I thought they were gonna fuck with it, but nobody yeah. really liked it like that. That's crazy. I think. Well, I think Ken maybe. I don't remember. I don't remember, but I know he, him and Nay didn't like it, and I think Nick didn't either. So. I thought Nay didn't like it because uh-uh. she's into anime she now. She's, I think she said it was confusing or something. She said she like she she would like she felt like she needed extra context. Like yeah, that. Mm. which that is completely fair. Yeah, because I didn't know what the fuck That's it meant until I was an adult. Was. That's, yeah. what mm-hmm. That's what it was. That's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. I wasn't feeling the whole uh, the more brother sister thing like I oh don't the know, little blue like, the little blue yeah, people just, Neo Tokyo was burning yeah, yeah it was just something a little That's too weird shit. Little, I love so, that something a little too movie. weird for me I was like I don't know yeah. yeah I love that fucking movie man God it's so good Canada <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, right uh, Wine Forever Tuscan Leather for me okay. Oh, mm. that's a uh, Drake, that's Drake, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good song. Yeah, and that's a that's a really good intro. You think so, Tuscan Leather? Yeah, 
Yeah, it's one of his best intros. That's the one with the beat key changing. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But it's a lie, though. He says, "What's well, something you introduced him to that song, and then where does it go from there?" That's a good point. I mean, he, you it, everything doesn't room. sound like that. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Everything so it's not is, it's not really a song that's indicative of his catalog, right? He has other songs that sound like that. He does, not on that but not, project, a, not a lot, though, right? Yeah, not. Yeah, well, it's, it's a collection. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, a yeah. collection of songs that okay. I would put in that same vein. But I, I agree with you. There's not much more on that album yeah, that sure. sounds like that. Got but you. I don't think that that's the nature of the, of the question. It's just kind of like where would you introduce somebody to in terms of a hip hop artist? Where they go from there is on them. Oh, see, I took it as like, what mm-hmm. do you introduce them to that's going to give them yeah. a good idea of what the person sounds like and that would make them mm-hmm. want to go listen to everything else. If you gave me Tuscan Leather mm-hmm. and then I go listen to other shit and it's like, wait, what? This is not what I was expecting. But I, 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 I get I your like interpretation. I like a mixture of the two, personally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ron Jay. Like hey, good guys. Job. Good job, Ken. Ron Jay here. Since Ken couldn't find my song last time, I resent it to his email. The email should be titled Ron Jay Trial by Fire. Bro, yeah, that hair look kind of late, bro. Wait, who's Rob? Who's I don't this? know. I guess it was something we were supposed to listen to. Hmm. So do we need to play it? Uh, yeah, two weeks from now. Two weeks. Damn. No, we already got one already set. He paid you- more. Yeah. Okay, oh, I'm man. just saying. He, he said that we didn't get it last time, so he had to resend it. So then we need to play it today. I don't like, have it. We we don't we can't do it right now on the spot. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Yeah, we have the yeah. same. Oh, so that's what I'm saying. Ron two J, weeks. J, 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 J. We're going to do you next yeah. time. All right, maybe I, I, okay, fine, we Ron. I, 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 I got you, bro. I'll, the next I'll episode, we're going we gonna yeah. yeah, so we to waste some time for, for songs. All right. Yes. There we go. We got three, actually, because the other guys sent two. Yeah, I, we got you. Hey, we they, got they, you. They, they, they looking out for you, Ron, bro. Yeah, but from yeah, here on out, how Underground did it. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, I was going to put you at the bottom, bro. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do you like that, bro. We got you, though. I'm going to check. I'm going to look for it. Uh, it better not be whack. Hey, man. Damn. I'm sick of this shit. Trial by fire. That's what you're going to get. <laughs> uh, Jacob Alamo, I went to an Arm & Hammer concert last week, and the show was amazing. I even got a signed CD from Billy Woods. Thank you guys for putting me on to them. Oh, that's cute. I saw them Saturday. Yeah. They were great. Uh, X, hey, bros, your top three albums that had most rotation, Modern Mad Villainy, Food and Liquor, and Hell Half No Fury. That's hmm. a combo. Okay. All right. That is. And, it, and, and, and just for more clarity, are you talking all time or are we talking current? Because that's, that's a... I'm sure you're talking all that time. That like he all put time, a whole yeah. bunch of old ass albums. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Use your comments. He still still might be listening to that right now. (laughs) Currently. Uh, He might. It said had. What? Well then it wouldn't be. That had. I didn't I didn't see the had. I didn't see the had. I I didn't see the had. I I, I went past had. What the hell? I'm glad you had fun, Jacob. That's the other question. Uh, All right, so we'll we'll get that. Uh, Drink More Water. It's hard to choose who's my favorite artist between Billy Woods and the Logic. So I'll do both. For Woods, I'll choose Killioid. 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 Mm-hmm. Killioid. He put the I before known, the O. Okay. Off Known yeah. Unknowns. And for Logic, I'll choose Day by Day off Got Lyrics. Mm. Do you approve? Mike? Yeah. Those Thinker. are both good songs. I would have chosen um, something off of Celestial Clockwork for Logic. Like... Mm-hmm. Um, is it a hundred? What is this? What is that one jam? A hundred? Fuck it. Never mind. Celestial Clockwork. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't think of the name of the song. If I paint a hundred something, if I paint a hundred pictures, I forget. Anyway. Hey, guys. Was wondering if you came across the 88 Rising album, 1999, Write the Future. It's halfway pop music, but there are interesting rap cuts with features from West Side Gun, Rick Ross, hmm. and even Souls of Mischief. What? Yeah. That's a crazy combo. No, for me. Yeah, yeah I've never, never heard, heard of that. What is singing across the room? Yeah, they, I forgot about like this. They got like Ghostface, Busta Rhymes, Smino, all. It's like a combination of like just young and old rappers. It's really actually hmm. cool. Okay. All right. Um, Appreciate the uh, super chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to check that out. Yeah. Huh? Oh, oh, I can sit back down. Don't worry about it. <laughs> No, you, you, you're straight. Uh, Abophobia. When are we getting a Rob Costa versus Guadalupe on Friday on Who Got the Funniest Super Chat? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, that might that be good. 
That might actually be a fun thing to do, but I think Rob Costa might get him. <laughs> Guadalupe be having a little mm-hmm. coming in. But nah, it, Rob Costa's too classic. He he just he stands yeah. he stands out amongst everyone. Flying in to go. If you got kidnapped, then the only way you mm-hmm. can live is to recite one rap song and one R and B R and B song, word for word, no mess up. Which are y'all choosing? Oh, that's a good Ooh. combo too. Um Mm. Street Lights by Kanye. I know they West. asked that before. Street, what you got? Street Lights by Kanye West. Really? Because okay. it's just street lights. Oh, oh. He's <laughs> 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 a smart boy. That's a smart boy. That's, yeah. smart boy. For real. To That's that Howard education. Yeah, it, is. it is. It is. <laughs> like I never even thought about like what would be the easiest. Like I'm thinking, yeah, mm. damn. So smart. what's your R and B song? Some instrumental. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gotta think. I gotta think. The rap song came. That was easy. Oh, I know rap song for me is PSA by Jay. You know every single word? That's a good one. I know every single word to that. Um, damn, R&B song. Mm. The first one that comes to mind is One in a Million by Leah. Like you know every I, word. I know every word to that. Okay. All mm. right. Anybody else got something? I like the PSA when you just said it. I, I, I yeah, yeah. all the lyrics. That's all crazy. the lyrics, bro. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, man. What you got? Oh Jesus! <laughs> My name is Ho. I think I can Excellent. do uh, LL Cool J. I need love. I need love. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know that one? You know the whole song? <laughs> I don't believe you know the whole song. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, there's a couple of R and I think the one that popped in my head, uh, Jody said, Forever My Lady. That's a good one. one. That's a good Forever one. Forever My yeah, Lady. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if it's kind of R&B, but um, Bag Lady by Erica Badu. That's, that's R&B. R&B. Yeah, 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 for sure. I don't yeah. know if that kind of like Neo Soul, but yeah. 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 Said the Sunday of R&B. Uh, my rap song is easily um, You Never Knew by Hieroglyphics. I know every word to that shit back and forth. Mm. Uh, and my R&B song would probably I'd probably go Hello by Lionel Richie mm. Mm. That's, a, that's, one, that's my, my karaoke jam When I get really mm. drunk mm. Okay okay. I think uh, Poison would be my R&B Poison? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But you gotta do the that's rap part too though Oh shit mm-hmm. <laughs> Poison, <laughs> moving it slow. Looking for a mellow fellow like the boat getting paid. Yo, so I, that's the only part I know. <laughs> Another rap song I got, Looking at Me by Mace. Oh, really? Uh, I never really liked Mace. Because my youngest brother loved that song, and for mm. whatever reason, we just know the song by heart. Mm. So, Ow. Shit. I could do that one too. Um, Armada, Rank These, Illidelph mm. Half Life, The Infamous Lifestyles of the Poor and Dangerous. <sighs> Shit. That's All right, three, I'll, right, I'll go ahead and go. Mm-hmm. Lifestyles of the Poor and Dangerous first. is first. Second is... Second, I'm going to go... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go Infamous, second, Ill Delph, Half-Life, third. Because that's not my favorite Roots album, so... I'm going to stick with... I was the about order. to say The Order. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I'll stick with The Order. You crazy. I, I am a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you crazy. Because I, yeah. almost, I almost reversed Lifestyles and the Infamous... But mm, I don't know. Infamous first, lifestyle second, and the Duff third. First Wait, what FIFO said? Like that. Okay. Yep, that's what I was gonna go. What was that? Infamous lifestyles, half life. Mm-hmm. So, uh oh, I knew it. Who made who made lifestyles? That's Big L, one of the greatest rappers of all time. <laughs> Big L. No, no, just I, just I, give this question. Just script it. You know? okay. no, 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 I'll it's go okay. to Infamous. I'll go to the half life and then. <laughs> I listened to the other two. I and you didn't have to answer. answer. <laughs> no, I can tell, tell by his face he didn't know. <laughs> you should definitely go listen to that album. Yeah, it's a good album. A very, a very young Jay Z is on there. Y'all should really do like a, a like a young whippersnapper. Like hey, here, here's a list of albums. That's our whole channel. Here's a list of albums. <laughs> <laughs> But we should embrace it. We've that, actually though. been talking about that. Yeah, yeah, we so, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I just, I think this is hilarious. I, I don't know the, why. I the first time I came in, y'all was talking what? about um, Bone Thugs and Harmony. And I was like, not once in my life has, everyone, has anyone ever said, you should go listen to you me. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me, remember when FIFO was kind of like this? Yo, he was when we first started. Yeah. Everything about him. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is either. Where's Flow Rider? 
<laughs> no, wait, where's, where's the other mic? Pitbull. Pitbull. <laughs> and J Lo is the best yeah, one about J Lo. Because he said his first, his first rap album was J Lo. We're like, wait, what? <laughs> no, that's not. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, glad to see FIFO back with the crew. Oh, Makes my day seeing FIFO's Thailand swing while he's seated. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, sorry. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm, I'm gonna take it because I haven't been here, so it's cool. <laughs> no, I was looking at the picture. It's Mike's face. Yeah, it's time. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 That's mean as hell, man. Some of y'all are rude. Oh, God. <laughs> Some of y'all are mean. These chairs are big. Oh, God. Okay. All right. What's the question? And then it was, uh, there wasn't one. No, what, what was the statement? I'm oh, sorry. Can we just God. laughed over the statement? You, you heard the damn statement. We don't, need to, we don't need to repeat that. We don't need to repeat that. And then I'm about to say, out of three, my bad. <laughs> I don't shit. remember what. I don't either, but hey. Oh, well, we, we, we got it. Uh. <laughs> The boy Rusty. Hey guys, been watching for nine years. I was 15. Oh, shit. Ooh. Okay. Out of these three reviews y'all have done, which one was the funniest <laughs> of y'all? Views by Drake, I Am Not a Human Being by Wayne, or Hall of Fame by Big Sean? Little Wayne. Little Wayne. I don't remember Drake. That views Drake. He was going crazy. Y'all don't remember that shit? I don't shit? remember. I don't think Hall crazy. of Fame was yeah. pretty good too. You, we were it? outside of. Uh, I remember that, but man, you, you was you because you was like on an island, like you was, I was just going island. crazy, like. I and I feel like that album has actually aged gracefully, gracefully in my opinion. Yeah, it has. Um, but nah, uh, the Little Wayne review was by far because the Hall of Fame by Big Sean. I don't remember. It was just mean. I, I yeah. believe it was just. It mean. wasn't funny. It was yeah, mean. it wasn't funny. But yeah. Wayne was funny. Oh, like oh, we bro. laughed our ass off on that one. No, I think the um Little B, I'm gay. That was the yeah. That's that the one. <laughs> you probably want to know. I think it's a cover of, you, uh, of Mike on the was like black and white. Him just screaming. It's like oh, you gotta be screaming. That's yeah, that ain't funny. Yeah. Yeah. It was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the one. Oh, it's so I look at it. Not hilarious for you. When did it get funny for you? Well, remember I was trying to defend Little B to a degree in that one, but yeah, it is what it is. The cap. I was. <laughs> I was. Uh, uh, Lions, 1079 MD. I just finished watching the FPS Black Cinema Trivia episode before I tuned into tonight's live. Hilarious as usual. Appreciate it. Appreciate Thank it. You. That it's was on fun. YouTube, y'all. It's on YouTube. You can go watch it. YouTube.com forward slash FPS podcast. Yep. Uh, tune in right after this. Uh, what are y'all's thoughts on Bazzino Drink Champs interview? Oh, man. I hadn't he seen it. He had too much to drink. It. Like he had too much. Like he was. Hey, I've never seen a Dream Champs interview as interesting and sad mm -hmm. and revealing as this one. Mm -hmm. th th this is for the Dream Champs one of their best interviews for Benzino. One of his lowlights. Mm -hmm. Well, I, what what I mean by that, mm -hmm. Mike, is that we for everything I just said. Like it, it's it's one of those situations where. It shouldn't, maybe it shouldn't have been aired, but since they aired it, it's, he reveals a lot, bro. Like, you could tell that that Eminem shit has forever tainted who Benzino is. I just wish he didn't cry so people didn't clown him because he was actually being open and he was. vulnerable. I mean, when he said, like, ah, you know, I hate this and, you know, Eminem could rap, mm -hmm. but we just had a problem. And mm -hmm. then he's like, every time I do an interview, somebody brings this up. Mm -hmm. Man, I mean, I couldn't even laugh at it. I was, and usually dudes crying makes me really uncomfortable. We, well, anyone crying makes me uncomfortable. But that shit, I was just like, man, I feel bad for you, man. I was really hoping it'll never happen, but I was really hoping at that moment, M would just take the high road and be like, hey, man, let's squash it. Because I would, if I had a problem with someone that mm -hmm. much and they were on TV crying, I'd, I'd hit him and be like, hey, man. It's cool. Let's squash it. It's all under the bridge. It's all good. I don't even remember what the original beef was. It was because because Benzino owned the source, yeah, and kept giving M like Mediocre two grades. mics or whatever. Yep. But he would give made men like five mics mm -hmm. every time. I don't blame him, man. I, I don't blame I, him either. I mean, I can see why that would bother him, but it, at this point, it's been twenty something years. No, I, mm -hmm. I think it was another magazine. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't the source. No, no, no. Oh, not, oh. Not far. they named Eminem as the king of hip hop. 
And oh, Benzino, and that not oh. really bother Benzino. It's like, how are you going to say this white man is the king? Yeah, I get that. That, that, like, that was part of it, too. Um, you know, the stuff that he was talking about with his daughter, Coyle Ray. Yeah, I think. And then, you know. Um, well, he, I still didn't listen to that. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he talked about that. Mm-hmm. He talked about um, the situation with Paul Pierce and some some people that he knew. Like, it was, it, it, like, Benzino talked a lot, which was a very interesting um, conversation, interview. But obviously, they're talking about you know, they're referencing the whole Eminem and crying and all of that type of stuff. I mean, stuff. fuck. I mean, if you go back and listen to some of those old M disses on Benzino, oh, he I went in? see what... You never listened to them? No, I said he went in. Oh, I thought you were asking. <laughs> no, 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 no. He okay. went in. Yes. yes. No, I oh, know. Oh, my it, God. There was nothing he, Benzino can do. Nothing. And then he went and got 50 in it. Like, bro, it was nothing bro, you can do. He said something about picking 50, 50 up, and he said your old ass will probably fall off a building, and then you'll be over the streets like 50 cents. It, man... There was a lot of really mean shit that yeah. he said. So I get why Benzino's holding on. Because people say things, you know, you just want to hurt them. Mm-hmm. And you, but you can't. Mm-hmm. So that's, I feel like that's what that crime was. I mean, Benzino has wanted to he, hurt Eminem for a long yeah, time. Yeah, he never had an out, like he, he, he never had a release of all of those emotions. Yes. Like it's just pent up. Man, M was bullying him, bro. So I think it did a lot to humanize Benzino. Hmm? I think it did a lot to humanize Benzino. Yeah. Because my whole life, I'll, my reference to Benzino is, oh, the guy that ruined the source and mm. the guy that's always hating on Eminem. That's my only two reference yeah. points for him. So hearing like, oh, you're you're an actual real person with like feelings. And he even went in his in his in the midst of him crying, he apologized. And I really yeah. don't I don't I, hate I, him. I don't hate yeah. him. I hate yeah. this has become I, my life. I hate that this is It's a lot, man. This is what mm-hmm. I've been reduced to is just like the guy who hates Eminem. I really don't hate Eminem. Yeah. It's just that he represents. He said, "I love wrong. my people more. Yeah, I love yeah. my people more than like we can't. I get it. We we can't yeah. prop up Eminem the way we do and expect rap to be what rap is. And it's he looks like Eminem's everything that's like wrong. Not that anything against Eminem is not his fault, but it's a, he's a representation yeah. of what the problem is. Yeah. So I think it Eminem was like, call wow. Benzino, man. Call Ooh. Benzino. Somebody Ooh. said Ja Rule needs a moment like this. No, too. he doesn't. No, no. Think so? he need to stay with Firefest. Don't nobody need no no. Why, why, why do you feel Fifty and Jaw will never squash their beef? Yeah, ever. like why does Jaw need a moment like this? Because I think he hurt too still from that. Oh, he definitely is. Of course he's hurt, but it but but. But what? Mm. It, it I I don't feel like it, it was Jaw's fault. Like Benzino, this was like his fault. Like he started it. Like ja, even more so then. He needs a moment because, like, I ain't even starting mm-hmm. this shit. His mustache is too skinny to be on TV. Crying. Oh wow! <laughs> uh, the ghost of Nic- Nicholas do say I saw your 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 <coughs> comments. Uh, appreciate the feedback, and uh, for the reactions though, uh, we've actually been doing those on Twitch, and they're um, archived on Patreon. Uh, so just FYI, but so uh, definitely follow the Twitch, the Daddy Hip Hop Twitch channel. Um, so you don't miss out uh, for when we go live. And they're a little slow on the notifications, though. So, uh, But, yeah, that, we've been doing them on there. Uh, moving on. The Snow Bunny Simp. One Gotta Stay Rapper Turned an Actor Edition. Mm. Tupac, Ice Cube, Common, RZA, Andre 3000, Method Man, Red Man, or LL Cool J. It's either Pac or Method Man for me that yeah. Gotta Stay. I think those are the two best out that group. No. <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably going to Cube. Yeah. Cube staying? He got to because Friday's not going any fucking where. You ain't lying. Boys There's in the not a, I, yeah. yeah, and Boys in the Hood, right? Yeah. And the one where he <laughs> takes the family to Disney World or whatever it was called? Are we there? Are we there? Yeah. 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 That can't, oh, oh, the one where he was running off the building and jumping and catching the, the bottom of the helicopter. XXX. <laughs> and then what's the one where... Um, <laughs> When he was living in Miami with Mike Epps. And, oh, like uh, 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 All About the Benjamin. Yeah, yeah, All About the Benjamin. That was a good one. Yeah, see? Ice Cube, ah, that dude, bro. You can't, you can't let go of Ice Cube. Ice, Ice Cube has Barbershop 3. You got yeah. Barbershop 3? Yeah, Ice Cube can't go nowhere. Ice Cube can't go nowhere. We made too many movies. See? But I think from a range perspective, Tupac is better. But obviously, he hasn't been uh, sure. You know. I don't know. I don't know. You had you got Juice and um, Above the Rim. What else? Uh, poetic Justice. Oh yeah, Tupac yeah. is definitely a better actor. Yeah, he's a better Ice. actor. Yeah, he was. He was. But Ice Cube just plays himself typically. He was supposed yeah. to be Mace Windu. He what? Who? <laughs> Tupac was supposed to be Mace Windu. Mm-hmm. George, uh, um, you're lying. No, George That's Lucas crazy. came out and said, "Yeah, he a uh, Tupac read for it. He's gonna be Mace what? Windu." And he died. Wow. <laughs> 
I did not. How did you not know this? I've never heard. He's taking everybody's jobs. I know. I just want y'all to know. I just want y'all to know. Like you never heard that. And Tupac was supposed to be Baby Boy. I mean, I don't care about that. But that's yeah. a good movie. You know, we do the baby boy. Baby boy. That's a good classic. Yeah, fuck your four little nigga. Baby boy. But it's not Star Wars. <laughs> trash movie. Yeah, it's, it's, not it's not trash. That's not trash. That is not trash. Come on, y'all. It's a hood, hood classic. classic, but it's not trash, Ken. Hood Come classic. on, y'all, bro. It's not, not, not trash. Not trash. Not movie. But it's Ice Cube can't go nowhere. It's great. Um, one Gotta Go double album. Summertime 06. Forever is a night long time. Documentary 2 or... You did him wrong, man. Moral you know and <laughs> the big steppers. Oof. Oh shit. I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, Mr. Morale, you, you out. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Morale, I gotta go. I'm sorry. Wait, what? Yeah. Y'all getting rid of most of Mr. Morale? I'm not. Oh, I'm not. I'm, Me. I'm, I'm, I might have to let go of that crit album. Me, I will. What was, was that the one, the second part was like Justin? Hmm? So. You the crit fan? You yeah, asking me? Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Some fan. Yeah. 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 That's the right yeah. album. Let yeah. the real crit fan tell you what's up. <laughs> uh, I just needed verification. Yeah, all go, like bury me in gold, Damn. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. No, that's second. No, that's yeah. Chris. Chris definitely staying. Yeah, Chris staying for me. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's Mr. Morale for me. Damn, it's Mr. Morale because I've that's always. That's not gonna age well. Huh? That's not gonna age. That's well. cool, <laughs> but that's the that's the one Kendrick album that I I don't revisit. That's your problem. It's not. Yep. That's my fault. Yeah, we grieve different. I'm good. Bro. As big as events, <laughs> as big as events man I, was, I am. Yeah. Summertime, Summertime 06. 06. Oh, no. That's, really? As big nah, as events. I, right. I love that album. But you sure? Of the, <laughs> <laughs> that's one of my other, favorite Vince. No, nah, that yeah, can't Yeah, of the around. albums that's up there, that's the one I probably go back to. The, the songs I, wow. I like from that album, I play a lot. Yeah, I'm huh. with you. But of, this, of those... That's probably the yeah of the of these yeah you, I'm yeah. with you I'm with you of actually wow. I'm surprised nobody selected documentary too I like that documentary too yeah. I I know then why are you surprising yeah. what well, because y'all not game fans like that yeah but it's good though y'all Just not call people out you ain't no crit fan I am a crit fan you said Mexican OT that was big big crit never was you did say that. <laughs> I, 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 think I think Mexican OT right now. have your bullshit. I think Mexican OT right now is bigger than Big Crit. Go back to work been. with that shit. Mm. <laughs> That's cool. <crazy. laughs> That's cool. <crazy. laughs> look, look at the numbers. Can you hear me now? <laughs> look at the numbers. I hear none of this shit. Look, Man, look at the numbers. Though. Nah. Look at the numbers. What Crit did with um, country shit? Oh, I'm, shit. I'm, I'm, it was mm, way bigger than uh. He ain't having your shit today. It's he ain't not, having your shit today. It wasn't. He said, new sheriff in town. That's right. No, that's cool. that's <laughs> right. <laughs> he said, you look at the numbers, You're Ashton. fired. That's what Ashton j- said. J- just look at the numbers. Yeah, he said, look at these nuts, motherfucker. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no, what Drake no, I, said. Uh, I feel you, though. Know, Maybe the OT is nice. I just, yeah. Mm. I feel you. How long do you guys feel like an album has to age before you can call it a classic? And is there such a thing as an instant classic? No. There is. You don't think so? No, there's not. There is. Really? Come on. There is. What's wrong with saying it's the classic? You, that's not the wrong. You can say anything mm-hmm. you want to say. I don't care. Mm-hmm. But do you want it to be respected and people listen to you? Mm-hmm. Then you shouldn't say stupid things. I don't think saying instant classic is stupid. Um, I, I think that there is such a thing, but I think it gets overused. Therefore, the stigma around saying it makes it feel like... You're being disingenuous. Here's a question, bro. Mm-hmm. Can you name one single instant classic album that's still a classic other than To Pimp a Butterfly? Good Kid, Mad City. I said yeah, it then. That's what I would say. Was it an instant classic? I, to me, that, it, was. it that, was. That was mm-hmm. the one album I think universally everyone said, yeah. this is a classic album. Everybody's doing no. these on it. Okay, so yeah. can you say anybody outside of Kendrick? Um, nobody else comes to mind. Mm-hmm. But... I don't I don't use that tag like that, but the last time I remember like standing on it was Good Kid Mass City. Got you. So okay. that's the reason why I think it is possible. So there's one example. So Maybe yeah, but it I know that's fair. If, if there's one, then that means it exists. Yeah. I what got about you. that fifty album? What Get fifty album? Get rich that train? Instant, Instant classic? classic? I don't know. I, was, I don't think so. I was in third grade when the album came well, out. What so about college dropout? Sense. You think you think people? I don't know if they call it instant classic, but okay. I was gonna say blueprint, but I don't think they were saying. No, nah, no, nah, it was it, that wasn't an instant yeah. classic. What about um my beautiful dark twisted fantasy? That's a good one. I felt that way. That's a good one. 
That's mm. a good one. That's a good one. I, 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 damn, did I All say All right, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on FIFO's side now. Okay. It is a thing. It's just overused. overused. Yes. So I'm, I'm with you now. Definitely. It's I'm overused now. because it's it's ve- it's a it's like less There's than very one few point albums, six. but you're right. I'm I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? saying? I think it's so much build up and if the album can't live up to the hype. Right. Then, every, yeah. then I think everyone say, "Oh, we thought it was going to be this yeah. and it actually is this." Yeah. It has to it's, it's a classic. Yeah. Yep. But what about the first part of this question? How, like how long does something have to age before it's solidified as a classic? Is there is there a actual time frame? Like three I think a years, decade five years, safe. ten years? I think a decade, ten years. I would even cut it in half a little bit. Five, to five, five to ten. So like five minimum is five like what ten, you can yeah. start considering. For me personally, I would yeah. say five minimum. Same, same. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't disagree. Yeah, five to ten, but... In today's climate, if an album can drop in January and you still playing it by December, <laughs> see that's the problem. See, that's why I'm not saying I agree, oh. but I'm just saying like going judging by today's standards, if an album has that much thing in power, that yeah. it, it keeps with you for a whole year. Damn kids, yeah. Yeah. Goddamn kids. Goddamn kids. Goddamn kids. Goddamn kids. the uh, Incog Negro. Are y'all a fan of Dr. Umar? Would y'all ever interview him? Of course, Mike couldn't be there for that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he went on the Joe Budden podcast, and there's a guy on there that has a white girlfriend, and oh, he was going. He allowed oh. he allowed Doctor Umar to be absolutely fucking insanely oh, disrespectful. Man. I would have just got up and fucking left. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, but yeah, Hardy Har Incognito. Thanks, thanks for the five bucks. Yeah, I would. I would interview him. I would interview him too. I wouldn't say I'm a fan of him though, but I'd interview him. You already answered my part. No, I would not interview that fucking guy. I think he's a jackass. That's a I, not an L. You said anyway. Me? I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Oh no, I would. I would not. As a fan of Dead and Hip Hop, I would not want to see y'all. Thank you. Nice. Why Without would you? Good job. Good job. Yeah. That's a- Good job. Look at that. I don't. I don't think that does anything. <laughs> that does anything not everything is content. I was sitting here talking to Dr. Umar. What the fuck are we going to talk to him about? I can talk. I got a lot. I talk to him about some stuff. You would just lie and act like you agree with everything he says. And then no, when he I leaves, you'd be like, yeah, oh, fuck that guy. I think he's a little... <laughs> why, why, why you think that's how Ken would be? <laughs> I don't think he works here. I, th- I can see him working on his mic. <laughs> No, I think he's gone on. really extreme though. Yeah, that's over, the only thing he's doing here. He's just gonna get mad at y'all for liking him and them. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, he would definitely be yelling at me, which would not. Yeah, I felt. I felt. I, I felt bad for, for. What's his name? I forgot his the name. The light skin guy. Ish. Ish. I felt bad for him. I was like, bro, he was why? trying too. I, that's what I'm saying. Why are you even trying? I was just yeah. left. You're not gonna just yell at me for what? On some shit that has. Yeah. Also, shit that has nothing to do with you. This is my girl. What the fuck you care? You bunny hopping. Mm. I was like, I and mean, it was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of funny, but at the same time, it was it was a little disrespectful. Mm. I, 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 I for someone it. that does that's not friends. Like you could yell at me like that, and I wouldn't take it no kind of mm. way. But a random stranger? Nah. Yeah, I, no. it's, it's his prerogative. That's what I don't understand. Like you know, it's, it's, it's his prerogative. What he does in his life I, I just i don't know i think that's just weird it is weird. when you get that mad about somebody else's relationship that yeah. means either you don't have one or yours sucks mm. so worry about yourself bro uh chabino uh angel little sims is a great intro for anyone getting into sims it has all the elements that solidify facts. what you'll always get from her music facts mm. Donald Van, what MC would you end <laughs> off Black History Month with, and who would you kick off Women's Month with? Oh, God. Mm. What MC would you end off Black History Like, like maybe, maybe, y'all, because I'm black, yeah. black, because I'm black, y'all. Uh, Chuck D? That's I was going to say Chuck D, yep. You, I, I would say Kendrick. You can end it with Kendrick. That's fair. That's good, too. That's fair. Go a little new age on him. Mm-hmm. Who pop. would I start? Women's Month with though. Oh, <sighs> Who? Flo Millie. Flo Millie. Oh God. Glow Hey, hey, Flo Millie. Yeah, Glow. Uh, mm-hmm. Who would he start Women's Month off with? I really like that. That what we talked about earlier. That Latifah song. You and you and you I. And I like I really like that. It's just a vibe, man. It is. It's a vibe. I if I was to go old school. I ain't playing that shit. Hmm. 
What is that? He said he ain't playing that shit. Really? You don't like? You don't like you? I mean, I liked it when I was young. You don't like? As as an adult, last time I feel like I hear the song every week in some way, shape, or form. It's a good song, but I'm not. I'm not kicking off on this month with that. Jean Grey would be a good one. Jean Grey would be a good one. She's not. No, no she's she been stopped rapping. Yeah, yeah. And she gets aggravated when people bring it up Man, to her. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, like, she's like, like no. motherfucker, I stopped rapping 15 years ago. Yeah. Why are you still asking me? Is Erica Badu acceptable? She just went off on somebody on uh, Twitter. Yeah. I mean, Ooh, I that's a good one. No I, name. I, I, no name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, don't want, I don't want to bring it to cliche, because I think everyone always says this person. Okay. okay. Rap City. Oh. Um, mm. Little yeah. Sims, too. Yeah. 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 I, like, backwash. Oh, okay. I'm bringing up Backwash. Yeah, I like that's, a, no that's, name. that's a that's a female backwash. Yes. Yeah, he said it here before. He probably like, wasn't here. Probably wasn't. But I like no name. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know a rapper named King Cashmere, but he's from London. He has an album called "In the Hour of Chaos" back in 2006. That's one of my <laughs> yep. favorites in that decade. Y'all should check him out. He's one of the Added few the London list. dudes that I can I can rock see. with. Mm. A lot of King times Cashmere. the accent is too much for me. Yeah. We, hey, look, we, the, we, it's we, the accent and the slang because I don't understand some of the things. They food, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm like, bro, eat. Like, what are you talking about? King Cashmere. Look, nah, he's he, dope. He's me dope. and Ken gonna do it on um, D365. When we will get to it, I don't know, but he's getting added to the list. Just daddy just volunteered you for shit. <laughs> <laughs> me and Ken is gonna me and do, this Ken's gonna do that. all this. Yeah. Well, not because, I, I don't I, know about y'all, I, but I, me and Ken, I primarily curate the list, so that's why. So I know, I'm just, I don't. y'all niggas over here trying to create saying, chaos. This is the way it came up. Yeah, uh, it's like you the boss. Land coming from the FPS Black Cinema trivia. If you had to make a prestige film based on a rap song, what would it be, and who would you get to direct? Tyler Perry. 99 problems and the bitch ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. That is so good. Oh, man, that's so good. Oh, man, let's see. Prestige film based on a rap song. Mm, the song. Uh, uh, Can't Tell Me Nothing and Spike Lee. Wait, what was the song? Can't Tell Me Nothing mm, and Spike Lee. From Kanye? That's good. Yeah. Jordan Peele. That's good. My mind playing tricks. Ooh, Ooh, that's really that's good. good. That is a good yep. one. That's the one. Go. That's the one. That's the one. That's good. That's fucking good. That is really yep. good. That's you really need to good. take that. Yeah. You need to send that to him. Yep. <laughs> you get yep. Ken, Ken won it. that one. That's Damn. good. Ooh. That is really good. I'm going to say. Nah, bro. No, I got one. Don't do this to yourself. That's a good one. It's not going to be better than that. Don't do this to yourself. Spike Lee. 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 Spike See, <laughs> I want. To, I want to my no, see, <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say. He got the best verse on control. I just said I had the best. Okay, one. I just, just said I let, wanted to go. Let Kendrick have this. <laughs> 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 we don't need this, bro. Right. That was like the perfect answer. Hey, well, it was it the is, perfect it answer. It is the perfect answer. But I like I like my voice to be heard. <laughs> <laughs> He's like I ain't been here. Like, look, yeah, I'm gonna get, <laughs> right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my answer <laughs> right. in. Uh, Abelphobia. Uh, my doom pick would be curls. Mm. I would also go thirty for Danny Brown and ego death for bus driver. Mm. Those are all, all right. Good. Uh, name one hip hop bar that you felt it in your soul. This is from Teddy Perkins. Mm. Mm. That's a good question. It is a good question. If I fuck this model and she just bleached her <laughs> ass <asshole. laughs> <laughs> If I get bleach on my t-shirt, I'm going to feel like an asshole. I felt that uh, all in here, Come on, Ron Fest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's dirty. Oh, wow. No, no, Ron Fest said that's what, that's what broke him up. He said that's the, that was that was the vert. That was the line that made him uh, stop fucking with Kanye What do you West. mean? He said it on like a, um, <laughs> it was like oh a genius. God. It was like a genius thing. Like, oh, read the lyrics. He's like, if I get bleached on my t-shirt, you know, Kanye, this isn't you. You're either all the way um, one, or y'all, you're either you're co- the combination of the two. You're eccentric and something. He, yeah, yeah, he yeah, yeah, it yeah. Differently, but he was just like, yeah. But wow. this, this was the one that was like, I, I, from this, everything broke down because of that one line oh, wow. in that song, wow. and that's why, he, and that's what Ron Fest said. I had to walk away from Kanye after that. Mm, damn, but yeah, Mm-mm-mm. he came back though. I don't think he did. He came back and did the. Uh, Cause that was life of Pablo, right? Yeah, but I he came back Ron and helped him on um, on something. He was uh, what was the album? Was oh, it Jesus is King? Then. Maybe oh, or Donda? He helped him on something. He came back around. Hmm. Anybody else had one? 
Nah, I, I can't think head. off the top of my head. Nah. Stuntman five thousand. Mike, have you heard Cage came out and said copyrights using the old verse on that new track? They haven't talked since. Move past apparently slimy. No, I didn't hear that. Uh, I'm not going to get involved. I like both of these guys. I'm cool with both of these guys. I don't know. I'm not saying you're lying at all. I'm sure you're telling the truth, but I haven't heard anything about that. So I can't give an opinion, but hopefully that's not true. I was very happy to see that they had potentially squashed their beef. So hopefully there's like a misunderstanding or something. That's been going on for a long time, right? Very long time. Move past back in MySpace days. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Hopefully that's hopefully they fix it. That's all. Yeah. I just want all of these rappers that are beefing over silly shit. Just fix it. Lions 1079. Uncle Sam got down by Brother Ali. Been mm. a fan ever since. That's a good one. That is a good one. Although I would pick victory, but that's that's a good one. Shout out to Brother Ali. Yeah, Donald sure. Van, Ken and Rod, you get a million dollars, but all songs you hear forever will now be Jack Harlow's version. <laughs> <laughs> For example, what's going on, son, by Jack Carlo? <laughs> what say you for FIFO and AIMF Doom, Mike, Drake, Ashton, K. Dot? <laughs> I like it. I like Kendrick. I'm good with mine. <laughs> I'm good with mine. Drake is a student, so I think I'd be okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. I, I probably wouldn't put music on very often. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who was yours again? MF Doom. Uh, well, he's an AI MF Doom. That's worse. It is. Yeah, Jesus but at Christ. least that could be good. Oh, if you mean like that era, like yeah. K Dot specifically. Oh man. No voices. But I, I I think I'm a, I'm a pass, bro. But I'll take the million though. I I definitely take the I million. I just I just can't listen. Wait, you're not gonna take the million. I can't listen to Jack Harlow seeing what's going on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't do Jack that. Not for a million though. <laughs> Not for a million, kid. What's going on? I'm going to get my Dr. Umar on. I got... Damn. <laughs> Say no. You're not bike hopping? <laughs> Damn. That's nah, tough. Nah, bro. That's, that, oh, that, that, that's rough, bro. Yeah, that's rough. Oh. Like, I really we could sit, I really would have to think about it. I think I'm taking my money. Fuck I'm taking Cause, cause cause great, it, bro. I know. That's what I'm saying. My, I'm good. This music is so, like, vibrational. So, like, it's like, hmm. I don't know, man. To not ha to For Jack Hollow to be the only person I hear for the rest of my life, like, I don't know if I could do it. A million, I could do it. For a million? Well, well yours is easy. I, I could take Jack Harlow too. Really? I listen to Jack Harlow singing Slayer. Oh, good. my God. A million? No, yours yeah. would be Drake. No, I know. No, no, oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I would Jack take Harlow, bro. I'm taking that mill, bro. I don't need music that much. I can watch a movie. You think you don't need music, man. Shit. Music is. You just think, you think about you think you don't it's need been, a million. It's been a part of your life for as long as you can remember. But you know what hasn't? A million dollars. But do you think a million will last you the rest of your life? I would make it last. <laughs> make, make it, it last, last forever. Forever. <laughs> forever. But just imagine that being Jack Harlow. Forever. <laughs> forever. It will probably sound about the same. <laughs> Oh, oh man, I don't know if I can do it. I, I really we have to. Think yeah, I'm, about I'm that. taking that million. Um, yeah, I'm come taking on, K-Dot and all the funny voices we hear. <laughs> oh, that's what they that's what they talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. Why is yours bad? You have Kendrick. Do you not yeah. like Kendrick? I don't. He, you they know what misunderstood he was saying? what he said. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 yeah. right. He ruined right. the J-Rock songs, remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah right. He ruined the J-Rock songs. <laughs> right. <laughs> that shit was so fucking funny. God, that was yeah. God, that shit was funny as hell, man. Go back and listen. No. Go back and listen. To, <laughs> no, no, go back and listen to, to those J Rock mixtapes. And, and when Kendrick come on, you'll be like, oh. Oh, that shit was so <laughs> fucking funny. Oh. Okay. Uh, JR Flip, can y'all react to Homicide by Young Pappy? Homicide by okay. Young Pappy. I don't know who that is. Okay. Uh, get him, Ralph. What's your first Gucci Mane? Homicide Young Pappy. Thank you, Mike. Uh, first song. First day out the feds. I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, I remember. First. It was that East Atlanta Santa shit. I know that much, but I don't know what the song was. I think mine was uh the freak. Was it very freaky? Uh, uh, what's that? Freaky song? girl. Freaky girl. I yeah. don't remember mine. Yeah, it was that freaky girl. What? Song. What? What? What was? Uh, so, so I see. see. So yeah, I see. Was so your first one? Yeah. Yeah. Because so I see. Like when I moved to mm. Atlanta, that was on the radio. So that that's when I found like who the fuck is a Gucci man? But yeah, it was so I see. Watch your mouth. Yeah, yeah, Freaky Girl was the first know. one I heard. That's the way you said it. You said, don't, don't take me out of context. time and apologize. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so icy was a moment in my childhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so icy was, was it? everywhere. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Quarter million? Uh, Arterio, video idea. Uh, assemble a starting five and a five-man bench for East, West, South, and Midwest. Have a round robin to determine seeds. They have a final four between them. One versus four, two versus three to determine the champ. That sounds like that what sounds, we kind of would be been doing, but yeah, it's not a good draft. Yeah, we we did something like that, but we didn't necessarily put them against each other. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's that's a good that's a good reason. Arterio. Just... <laughs> <Mm-mm. laughs> oh, this person's passed. Hmm? Young Pappy. Mm. I don't think we need to react to that. Cyrus, Dune, Rest Rhinestone, peace, Cowboy, Blue, Soul, mm. Amazing, Your Old Drew, Maestro Yoska, West Side Gun, Conway, 94 Ghost Shit. Nah, that, yeah, Ooh, that that's 94 Ghost Shit. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Yes. But yeah, Rhinestone Cowboy is a good one too. I had that on my list. Yes, Rhinestone is great. And Soul Amazing is a, uh oh. Hmm. What? You for for Doom or for Blue? For Blue. Oh, for Blue, yeah. Uh, what would you do for I would uh, for some reason I would do Blue Collar. I don't know why, but that yeah. song yeah. gets stuck in my head so hard. If not that, uh, uh, it's off the same pro- uh, album, so I just can't remember the name right now. Damn. Yeah, hold on. You a casual? I'm a casual. <laughs> Damn, that's how you feel. And last two from <laughs> Levi, uh, Danny Hip Hop fave fans' favorite albums bracket. Mm. Will vote on Patreon. Okay. I like it. All right. Uh, appreciate the members' chat. And uh, Levi Turner sent in a super sticker. So thank you. Oh, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And we, we, we did answer this one, right? I think I brought just in unchecked it. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. we did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. I said Mr. Morale. Mm-hmm. Ashley okay. I said summertime. I think it was resubmitted because I think the mighty long time was was different. I I think it was yeah, he put Eleven. night. Yeah, he put night yeah. long time. Okay, 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 cool. So we got it. Oh, uh, Mike, I would probably say simply amazing. So same project, just doing oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I get you on that one. Mm-hmm. Or I would go dancing in the rain. There's just too many. Dancing in the rain. Yeah. There's like too my many. Favorite. That's my favorite blue song of all time. Yeah. Don't nobody want to dance. All right, and we're done. Rain. All right, cool. So move your ass. Move uh, your uh, ass. Yeah. You know blue? Yeah. You like him? Mm-hmm. Um, Cheers. That particular, I thought his name was Blue in Exile. Like, <laughs> I, I, was, I was just a name of the rapper. Like, oh, that's a uh, blues in, Blue in Exile. Okay, oh, cool, abstract. I get, I get you. There was no other person on the cover. Did you listen to the, to the new one? To the new Blue? Hell Thank yes. You. Okay, just asking. Man. You know, it's dope as fuck. It's dope yes. as fuck. That shit. Jesus Christ, the EP. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I feel bad because I can't think of the producer. And we just said, damn, hold on. Who's the producer? What's his name? Fuck! I feel bad because you shouldn't have brought it up. Now I feel bad. <laughs> Chad, help me out. What's the producer's name? I just started following him on Twitter. <laughs> Come on, Chad. Come on, we're trying to close this out. Hurry up. Yeah. Because the Roy Royal. Thank you. That's it. Because the album's okay. the Royal Blue. Blue Royal or Royal Blue. Royal yeah, Blue. Yeah. Dope, dope. Roy Royal. Dope. Yeah, Roy Royal gave him some incredible he beats, did. and Blue oh, was not cool. fucking around. Oh, what happened? No, the 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 clue to the name was in the title. It was Royal Blue. Oh, well, I couldn't yeah. remember the name of the EP I, yeah, either. No, no. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. My memory is terrible. I'm gotcha. off. I told you I'm having an off night. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. Understood. Understood. All right, cool, man. This has been another Dead and Hip Hop Live, man. If you ca- caught this late, just go back to the channel and watch the replay. Uh, if you came late, you know what I'm saying? We start these at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every other Wednesday. What's up? All the time. Yeah, this one went along, man. Y'all, y'all had a, y'all had a lot to say, so we appreciate that. Uh, thank you again, Ashley, for coming through, man. You know, what I'm saying, representing. You know, uh, I'm, I'm sure they still want you back after your hot takes. You know, you good. <laughs> I miss the takes, bro. I love, I love takes, bro. I love it, but I love it. You know, I love it, man. Spike is just as crazy. I know, I know, but yeah, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Uh, all those good things. Uh, become a patron. You know, patron. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash dead and hip hop. Yeah, man. Tune into everything we got going on. We got a video dropping Friday, right? Yes, sir. What's that dropping? So you know? It'll be the rundown. The rundown. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Rundown so make sure you, episode 11. Yeah. And in case you haven't caught on yet, we drop every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we might throw something in there every now and then on, mm-hmm. on, a, on a day. But yeah, make sure you tap in there, man. But uh, thank y'all for coming through. See y'all later. Peace. Peace.